Amigo, somos Israel Unido en Cristo. Estamos aquí para estudiar que nos llamamos negros, hispanos, nativos americanos o israelitas de Biblia. Hay su historia en la Biblia. ¿Hablas inglés? Poquito, poquito, hablas inglés? Poquito, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. So the Bible says it shall come to pass. So look, I need I need a Spanish Bible. I need Spanish because they don't speak uh, English. I speak Spanish. You speak Spanish? You speak English? No English. So look, we just gonna read this. The I brothers. Speak you speak what? I speak Polish. Okay. Okay. So you speak Italian. So look, look. Call the number on the back. We gotta get these brothers subscribed. Somebody help them out. All right. Come on. But it shall come to pass. So the Bible said it shall come to pass. Let's read this. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, amigo, hablas español? English? Okay, so look, he speak, all, they all speak Spanish. Read on. To observe to do all his commandments. So the Bible says that we don't observe to do all the commandments. For all the disobedient that the blacks and Hispanics is doing, curses is going to come upon us. This is why we don't understand who we are today. Come on. And his statutes which I command thee this day. So you blacks and Hispanics, everybody, you Martinez, you Carlos, all of y'all are commanded to keep God's commandments. But a lot of people just want to stand there and listen. They just want to line up and eat food. That's all you got to give to blacks and Hispanics. Give them a nice discount, some sale for some food, and they all going to go back to sleep. Let me get Jeremiah 16. You already know what I want. Now it's time for us to step up because we see the murder going on. We see the drug dealing going on. We see the, uh, the MS-13. The blacks and Hispanics in gang banging and drug violence. Nobody want to step up. Right. You see Adam Toledo, your own brother, our own Hispanics is getting put to death and what's happened to us. Come on, read. Okay, Just the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16 and verse 10. And it shall come to pass. So it said, it shall come to pass, come on. When thou shalt show this people all these words. So we showing you the words. We showing you the words in this Bible. And what does the Bible say about the Hispanics? What does the Bible say about you Latinos? That you are God's chosen people. That the Bible does not tell you that you are to follow behind Catholicism and worship your oppressor. The Bible does not tell you that you are Hispanic. That you are a prophet of Spain. The Bible tells you that you Hispanics are God's chosen people. Yes, Señoritas, right. hablas español, inglés? Espanol? Espanol? Hablas eh, inglés? Inglés? Ay, aquí, 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 aquí. Look, un momento. Somos Israel Unido en Cristo. Ay, estamos aquí para enseñar que los llamados uh, negros hispanos, nativos americanos, son israelitas de Biblia. ¿Crees, ¿Crees en la Biblia? ¿Crees en la Biblia? Sí, sí. ¿Y tú? ¿Crees en la Biblia? So, uh, en, en la Biblia, uh, la Biblia dice que uh, las mujeres no uh, usan. Uh, puede usar pantalones right, in, in la Biblia All right, So God tell you how you dress You speak English though, don't you? Come, 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 come Look, look, sister, look Look at this sign right here I'm going to ask you Who is this right here? Who is this? I'm going to ask your daughter Is that your daughter? Come look, both of y'all Come look at this Who is this right here? My friend Amigo, what's your name? What's his name? Pregunta uh, Pregunta Tengo pregunta ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? Quién es? Okay, we don't have to ask him. We can ask you. Who is this? Quién es? Es Jesús Cristo? Sí, no. Jesús Cristo no es blanco. Jesús Cristo es negro. En la Biblia, Jesús Cristo es negro. Do you speak? Y'all speak English, right? I need y'all to come and teach this. Come look at this. Watch this. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Y'all believe in the Bible? I'm gonna show you this. This is what you have to read to show your mom. Is this abuelita? Okay, so look. This your grandma and your mom. This is what y'all have to teach y'all and make sure y'all translate to this. Read this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. So we're going to read the dress code because for us to be a royal and chosen people, for us to be above all people, it's a dress code that we have to leave. My brother right here. Hey, my brother. What's your name? Jerry. So look, do you believe? Hey, my sisters, I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask them a question. Do you have daughters or children? Okay, do you believe that God has a specific way that we're supposed to dress? No. Okay, now if your daughter, you got daughters? God accepts you. I got a question. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, I got two. Okay, so if your daughter walk outside wearing specific clothes that reveal her body, would you want her to change or you say you can wear what I you want, want to? I want her to change. Okay, good. Leave it right there. It's my sister right here. Listen to this. Don't leave. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. Huh? The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So in the Bible it says the woman shall not wear what belongs to a man. My sister right here, what do women wear that belong to men? What piece of clothes do women wear that belong to men? She can't go nowhere. It's real quick. It's real quick. What do women wear? 
<laughs> okay, so look, go ahead. What's your name? Jerry. Jerry, all right, Jerry. So do you know who you are according to the Bible? You see yourself on this side? I mean, on here? On here, yeah. On the right side, on your right side is what your oppressor called you. On the left side is what God called you. Right. So which side do you see? Are you Hispanic or Mexican, Puerto Rican? Are you African American? You Haitian? According to this, I'm Judah. According to this, you Judah, right? Okay, so look, we're going to show you Deuteronomy 28, go to 46. So we're going to show you according to the Bible that you are an Israelite without a doubt. So let's start right here. You from Chicago? Yes. All right, this is going to be good. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 46. Uh -huh. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Deuteronomy 28, 15. So God said he's going to put these curses on us for a sign and for a wonder and upon our seed forever. So how do I know that that's a Walgreens? Because of the sign, right? How do you know that this is uh, Albany Street? Because you see the sign, right? So how do we know that Jerry is an Israelite? Because of the curses is going to identify who the Israelites are today. Watch this. Come on. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass. So the Bible said it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. Come on. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it say if we don't listen to God, not to your pastor, not to what your mom say, our own feelings. The Bible says, if you don't hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God. What's the voice of the Lord thy God? The Bible. Come on. To observe, to do all his commandments. To what? To do all his commandments. Guess what, Jerry? Celebrating your birthday is not a commandment. Celebrating the quesigueras and all these things out here is not a commandment. Come on. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses. All these what? All these curses. All these curses, which God said is a sign that's put upon us to let us know that we are Israelites. Come on. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So the curses go come upon us and overtake us. Now, one of the curses is verse 16. Come on. Verse 16. Curse shall thou be in the city. What the Bible say? Curse shall thou be in the city. So the Bible says that we are cursed in the city. Jerry, I'm going to ask you. How is the black man cursed in the city today in the I streets see, of Chicago? It ain't just a black man. Hold on, right here, hold on. I, I, I understand that. Underst I understand that. <laughs> I am dealing with the black man. That's who we focusing on. We can't include everybody else. Because that's how we curse in the city today. The black man is the only man that want to include everybody else. While the meanwhile, they treat you like a nigga. They shoot you down on the streets. They keep you at the bottom. They put massacres. They flood your cities underneath yeah. waters. They burn down your places, white mobs. And then all of a sudden, the black man say, no, it's everybody. We need to focus on ourselves and get ourselves right first. Yeah. That's what we need to focus on. Yes, so Jerry, deal with me. Look, I let's agree. let's let's focus on this. How is the black man specifically cursed in the city? What is the bad things that happen to the black man that everybody else don't go through? What you got? I can't answer that. You can't answer that? Because one black man can be going through the same thing everybody else is going through. Uh -huh. Not everybody's perfect. Nobody's perfect. Nobody so perfect? You can't just single out black people and say they the only one. It's a lot of people being suppressed. Daniel you know. It's a lot of people. In that book, everything going on in the world, not just the black people, it's in the book. It's okay, so let me ask you this. Do animals, you believe that you're an Israelite? Dying off, listen, poverty, listen to this. Do you believe that you're an Israelite? Gang banging, people killing Jerry, each other. stay with me. Do you believe you're an Israelite? I don't believe I'm an Israelite. Okay, so you don't believe you're an Israelite. Let me show you, let me show you what God said was gonna happen to the Israelites and not to everybody else. Come on. The book of Daniel, chapter 9 and verse 5. No, verse 11. Verse 11. Ye all Israel have transgressed the law. Wait, everybody on the planet? Ye all Israel. All you hear in the Bible over and over is Israel, Israel, Israel. The blacks and Hispanics, the Israelites. It says all Israel, come on, have transgressed the law. We have broke God's laws. Some of God's laws is eating pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, whoremongering, being an adulterer. These is breaking God's laws. So you say all people went through all these things, but we're the only people that lost our nationality. We're the only people that got our land stolen from us. We're the only people that go have to, we're the only people that got to go try to fight for human dignity. Right. You never heard nobody else out here saying, I am a man. When have you ever heard of a Chinese Michael Brown? When have you ever heard of an Asian Jamarian Robinson who got shot 76 times? You don't hear about that happening to nobody else except us. But this is what you get from the black man today. He want to include everybody else. Meanwhile, everybody else don't want to include him. They don't even want you living in their neighborhood. Come on, I got you. Even by this departing that they might not obey the voice. So that's the problem. Like, I I'm going to ask you this. What's your name? What's your name, bro? Yeah, you. Christian. So Christian, Jerry said everybody go through the same thing. 
Do you agree that blacks and Hispanics get oppressed at the same rate as everybody else on the planet? Do you believe that's equality in that? Or do we get oppressed more than everybody else? No. So we all get oppressed the same? So black people and Hispanic people get oppressed. Let's just use police brutality right now. When it comes to police brutality, do we all get oppressed and pulled over at the same rate as white people and Arab people? No, no we don't. So who get oppressed more, blacks and Hispanics or everybody else? Say it again. Come on, I, I can't hear you. Come on, go, go. Man, I, need, I need Jerry. I need Jerry to hear this. I agree with you. So, uh, blacks and Hispanics, so we not all on the same level, is we? I agree with you. But of course, now we teaching the history and a lot of brothers gonna run away. Come on. I agree with it. But that's that they might now obey the voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us. And the, so wait, what? Why is the curse poured upon us to let us know that we the Israelites because we don't what? Because, so, excuse me. The, therefore, the curse is poured upon us. Because we don't obey the, the voice of God. You know we listen to everybody else except what God say do. Like my brother right here. Hey, you see yourself on this sign? Because look, hey, Jerry said he a, his, he, a black, he a black man on top of that sign. Do you see yourself? Okay, cool. So read on. And the oath that is written in the law of Moses. In the law of Moses, come on. The servant of God. Because we have sinned against him. What? We have sinned against him. So God is only the God of Israel. And because we have sinned, therefore, we are the ones that get judged and punished out here on the planet. That's why you don't see everybody else getting oppressed. You don't see who are the people on the planet right now that make the laws that dictate what you can and can't do. If we the ones that's oppressed, why we can't even say, no, I don't want to take the jab, but I still want to keep my job. Is that not oppression? That's oppression. Who? But that's the white man. Okay, so wait. If the, is the white man oppressed like the black man? But see, the white man ain't See, now, that, that, that's the problem. That's the problem. So we have to go to Deuteronomy 7 and 6. It, Let me build you up and understand and show you the importance. I'm going to smash this equality, equality thing. Second Ezra 6. Okay, watch it. No, no, get what I asked for. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people. So God said the black and Hispanic man, he is holy. He is separate from everybody else. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto the God thy God, we. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God said what? He has chosen thee. Everybody. Thee. God says he has chosen you, Jerry. He has chosen the black and Hispanics to be what? To be a special people. He said you are special. Everybody else on the planet is not special. Only people that are special is the blacks and Hispanics. You know how special we is? We the ones that can go through mass genocide, mass incarceration. We can go through uh, uh, every massacre, the Elaine massacre, the Okoye massacre, the Tulsa, Oklahoma massacre, the Tuskegee experiment. We only people that can go through these things through the colonization. And guess what? We still gonna rise up and be what? A special people. We still gonna be special at the end of the day. Cause no matter where you looking on this planet, everybody wanna look like, act like, and dress like the black and Hispanic. But the black and Hispanic don't wanna look like and be like the Israelite he was called to be. Come on. Until himself above all people. God said what? Until himself above all people. So Jerry don't wanna hear the fact that the black and Hispanic man is what? Above all people. God said you are above all people. But you are sitting here stuck at the bottom facing everyday oppression because you don't want to come back to God's laws. Everybody got time to break God's laws, but nobody want to keep God's laws. We got brothers out here with crosses on their neck. Give me a second, Ezra 6. Everybody got crosses on their neck, but the minute you mention God, they all of a sudden don't got time. But wait till that car flip over. Wait till them bills come. Wait till your mama be the one that gets shot out here in Chicago. Two-year-olds, seven-year-olds out here dying. Wait till it happen to you. When it happen to you, then you gonna call on God. But we're going to see what God going to do to y'all. Let me read this right quick. The book of 2nd Ezra, chapter 6 and verse 54. Uh -huh. And after this, Adam also, whom thou mayest Lord of all thy creatures, uh -huh. of him come we all. Of what? Of him come we all. So everybody come out of Adam. Everybody understand that. We all know Adam. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. But it's the people that God has chosen. And who is those people? The blacks and Hispanics. That's but right. you call yourself Latino. You call yourself Mexican. Right. You call yourself Puerto Rican. But you are a chosen generation. You are God's chosen people. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, huh? O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. What? The world for our sake. God made the world for you Hispanics. God made the world for you black man. 
but you don't want to stand up and fight for it. Right. You want to run to the white man and tell him, hands up, don't shoot. You want to run to the white man and protest. You are not going to only, only, you know what's crazy? The black man and Hispanic man, the only form of idea that you have of leadership is changing the complexion of these executives. Right. You want to change the complexion. You want to put black faces in high places. But you're not going to change the oppression that comes down from them policies and laws. But you can change your life. That's what's going to happen when you come back to God's laws. Read on. As for the other people, as for the other people, as for the Chinese man, the Asians, the Arabs, as for everybody else that's not a black or Hispanic, read. Which also come from other animals. Come on. Thou has said, they are nothing. What God say? They are nothing. They go your equality right there. God said that they are nothing. But somehow they ruling over you. Leviticus 26 and 17. This is how you're going to understand how to get out of your oppression when you come back to God's laws. But everybody want to run and vote. Everybody want to run and dress up like a vampire. Right. Everybody want to run and go be a gargoyle and a werewolf. Meanwhile, you see the black man and the Hispanic man walking around in this community with his head down. The minute you hear, whoop, whoop, you running. You ready to go. Because right. God said this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26 and verse 17. And I will set my face against you. God set his face against you. But you stay want to call on God. You same brothers that want to understand what God is, we try to show you straight out the Bible. You all, you all, you, you hate your own people. Right. And it show. We got the same history, but somehow the black man standing up fighting for his community. Like my sister. I'm not saying English. I'm not saying somebody else. English? English, my sister, I got a question for you. Can you, can you come look at this sign real quick? You waiting in line, so you don't got nowhere to go anyway, right? It's gonna take real quick. I got a question for you. Do you see any black and Hispanic men fighting up for the for their communities? Can you name five of them off the top of your head? Play the Jeopardy music. You can't, right? Now I got. I, I'm gonna ask you this. Do you know that it's a lot of white people that don't even have to rise up and fight for their community because they already lead it? So let me show you what God said. I'm gonna show you two things real quick. You believe in the Bible? I do. Okay, watch this. And I will set my face against you. And you shall be slain before your enemy. Do you not see a lot of blacks and Hispanics dying? How we are slain before our enemies? So God said that we have enemies. Who are they? Are they the same people that, that got the cultural genocide going on? That took you and put you on slave ships? Do you not understand that? Now we're trying to fight for our people, but why is it that all we want to do is eat food? Is it really time to eat? Is it really just time to sit out here? We didn't been uh, so oppressed. They got redlining going on where the black man and Hispanic women was not allowed to live in certain neighborhoods and communities. That's why we are stuffed in the ghetto today. Right. And we being slain before what? Slain before your enemy. And that's why you got Adam Toledo. That's why you got Michael Brown. That's why you got Jamari and Robinson. Right. That's why you got a list. Our black people, we can name more people that died than more people that succeeded. Right. Because a black man don't want to come back to God's laws. You are not going to rise up until you rise up in the laws, statutes, and commandments. That's the only way we're going to come back and rise as a nation of people. But our people want to rise up in the morning and eat breakfast. Right. Our people want to rise up and eat chorizo. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. I, you, I, see, we deliver the truth.